Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use Word to create custom document templates. You can use the form fields to create fill in the box kinds of forms or where people select from a drop down, those sorts of forms. Now to do this, all you have to do is type in the information that you want to remain unchanging and then insert data fields or form fields where you would want people to enter in information. So this is convenient if you have a standard form that you want people to fill in with information. You can create a template that will allow them to simply fill in the blanks in the document. So to create a form template you have to use the forms toolbar and you can display this like any other toolbar by selecting view, toolbars, and then choosing forms from the list. So at that point, you simply type in the document information you would like to remain constant. And when you come to a spot where you would like a data entry field, you can select either the text form field, if you want them to type something in, checkbox form field, if you want them to check or uncheck a particular option, or a drop-down form field. So let's say that we wanted someone to fill in a password request, and we just wanted to have a form template that they could fill in their information. So let's say we want to collect their first name. We would type that into the document and then next to it we're going to insert a text form field. Then let's say we also want them to fill in their last name. And then perhaps another text form field. Then let's say we want them to choose a department. Let's click the drop-down form field for this one. And then let's say we also want to know whether or not they need a request receipt. Where we can actually send back a receipt, let's say, that indicates whether or not we've ac accepted this. And let's say that's just a checkbox. We want them to check whether or not they want a receipt. So you put in all your form fields and type in all the information that you want to stay the same. You can apply any formatting to the fields or to the text by just clicking and dragging over it and using the format dialog box or your formatting toolbar. Now once you had it looking the way that you want it, you could just simply save it as a template. But we're not quite ready yet. Even though we have the options in there, we still haven't set the specifics. Say, for example, what departments do we want to have in the drop-down? Or how much information can they type into this form field? In order to do that, we'll have to set our form field options. And let's look at that in the next lesson. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.